Hi y'all, welcome back to a Kim of All Trades. If you want to see how I made this buffalo chip pumpkin mat, stay tuned. So the supplies you're going to need are a welcome mat from the Dollar Tree. Some painter's tape, I got this at the Dollar Tree as well. A variety of colors of paint, you choose which ones you prefer since this is your creation. You're also going to need some paint brushes and sponge paint brushes. I chose to use the gray side of my welcome mat, so I needed to remove the tag before I get started. Now you're going to get your painter's tape and you're going to line it up with the top of the mat going from one side to the other. Now that you have your first piece of painter's tape laid, you're going to get a second piece and line it up directly underneath the first piece, as you can see how I'm doing here in the video. I know this sounds pretty repetitive, but now you're going to get a third piece of tape and you're going to line it up directly underneath those other two that you have just laid on the mat as well. If this technique is too repetitive for you. You can always measure out the spaces, but this is the easiest way for me with not having to use measuring and all is using this piece of tape in the middle as a space keeper. So the pattern's going to be tape, space, tape, space, tape, space, as you'll see as the video progresses. see how the pattern continues to repeat itself so I'm gonna keep doing this I'm gonna put down the tape and then take off the center piece put down the tape and then take off the center piece I'll show you at the end how it looks when I get done doing all the tape for this first step okay y'all this is what the mat should look like after all the tape is put in place. You're going to want to go back over each piece and make sure that it is firmly pressed against the mat because you don't want paint to seep underneath the tape. Okay, now it's time to apply the paint and I'm using a sponge brush to apply my paint with. It's going to be a very rough texture so you might need to apply more than one coat. I didn't say this before, but you need to paint the color that you've chosen to paint for this first step on every one of the spaces between the tape. I didn't want to bore y'all showing you how I painted every single line. So this is what it looks like after you get all of the spaces painted between the tape. Once the paint is dried, it'll probably take about 20 minutes. You're going to remove all the tape that's on the mat. Now that your mat is dried and you've removed all the tape, you're going to turn your mat the other way and start putting tape like you did before. Tape, space, tape, space. And I might add, just like I did before, I'm using another piece of tape to hold my space in between the two pieces of tape. I 
I hope this video is helping y'all because sometimes I don't think I have the right words to give y'all but as you can see I'm done with the second set of tape and I'm going back and pressing it down. This is the pattern that you should have now. Now that I have all the tape down I'm coming in with my second color and I'm painting in between the tape even painting on the white that I painted previously. Once you get done with that second color, this is what it should look like. Let the black dry, or the second color dry, for about 20 to 30 minutes. Once it's completely dry, remove the tape. Once you're done with that second color, this is what you should have, your buffalo check background. Now you can paint whatever design you choose to paint, and I've chosen a pumpkin welcome mat, so let's get started. You know, you really don't even have to paint anything on this. It's so cute, you could leave it plain. But since I've already done this DIY, let me show you what I did to do it. I got a Dollar Tree pumpkin wood cutout, and I used it as my outline. I was looking for this to be neat and clean because I'm going to use it as a greeting mat to my front door. I am using a Sharpie to draw the outline of the pumpkin, but you can use whatever pen you have on hand. That Dollar Tree cutout makes the perfect template for a pumpkin. Now I'm using a paintbrush to follow that outline with some orange paint. You may have to go over it a few times, but I am leaving the top where the stem is so that I can paint it brown. Now I come in with a sponge brush to fill in the pumpkin with the orange paint. Now that I've got that pumpkin painted, I'm coming in with the brown to paint the stem. I don't know what happened to the footage of this, but I also come in with a paintbrush with green paint and paint a little curly vine. I also freehand paint a leaf. Well, the welcome mat isn't complete without the word welcome. And I've got these Dollar Tree sticker letters and I use them to spell out the word welcome. If you have a silhouette or a cameo, you can use that to create your own template. I used a white paint marker to spell out the word welcome and I didn't like that. It was too white so I'm coming in with some green paint and filling in the word welcome. Well y'all here's the finished product. I hope that y'all have enjoyed watching me create this DIY. If you have give me a thumbs up. Also give me a comment on how you would have made this your own. If you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so. Every subscription is free and YouTube notices me a little bit more and helps me keep bringing videos like this to you. Thanks again for watching, and as always, have a great day. Bye!